All right, everyone. It's seven o'clock and we're going to get started. Um, let's get started now. So welcome to the call, everyone. My name is Tasha Hodes and I host this call with um, Marcia Payne on Tuesday and Thursdays. So I'd like to start each meeting just giving you sort of introduction of what the class is for and why we do it. One second. Okay, so for all of our new members, I want to say welcome to the call and, and welcome to Tradera. In this Tuesday and Thursday class, um, a lot of us um, are new to, to Forex and it can be learning like um, a second language. So we do these Tuesday and Thursday calls to sort of get you familiar with some of the concepts that you're going to hear when you start attending uh, the live classes, if you have not already. I know um, when we first joined Tradera, I guess about six or seven weeks ago, um, some members were going straight to the class and they felt a little overwhelmed because they'd never heard the, the concepts and the terms before. And so we've created this class to sort of help ease you into that transition of being and uh, learning from the master traders. So this class is to help you get set up on your demo account. Um, we go through screenshots to help you with those connections, um, show you how to download the MetaTrader app or the MT4 app for short. That's where you actually take your trades. Um, then we explain about the Tradera trade alerts. We break those down, let you know what each of those components are so that when you join the Telegram and get those trade alerts, you'll know what to look for. And we show you how to actually take those trades in MetaTrader 4. And so generally the first half hour is spent with um, instruction. And so maybe the first 10 minutes, I'll teach something new, just a little nugget that'll help you uh, once you get further into the classes. And then we try to take the last uh, 10 to 15 minutes before 7.30 to review in case we have any um, brand new members on the call. And then the last half hour, we open it up for any questions um, that you're having with um, taking the trades or downloading the app or anything like that. And um, we're gonna finish as close to eight o'clock as we can, because I'm really excited about the Chadera live calls that happen at 8 p.m. That's 8 p.m. Eastern. So Derek Conway is the uh, master six figure trader that marks up charts at 8 p.m. Sunday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And the way that you get connected to that call is through your back office. So you log in and on the left, there's um, a tab for live calls. You click on that and there's normally a green join button. And so you can take that call live and I'm gonna give you a preview of what you'll see in his classes, I'll show you a chart that he's marked up, kind of introduce it to you so you uh, would have seen it when you go to those classes. And they're really phenomenal. He spends uh, about an hour to an hour and a half um, going over the markups that he's doing on these charts. So we'll dive into one of those today so I can give you a sneak peek of what you'll be seeing in those classes. But basically, he is um, teaching a strategy, showing you how you can, um, begin to take trades on your own when you're ready to do so. So, you know, Tradera isn't one size um, fits all. You can kind of fit in based on your own goals. Some people want to come in and take the trade alerts and that's all they want to do, you know, and that's fine. Others want to actually learn how to trade on their own. And so that's what that eight o'clock class is for, for those of you who want to dive a little deeper. And um, the instruction is just just really good. It's a really good experience. I'm going to those classes. I'm sending my team there. And if for some reason you can't make it live, don't worry. They're all recorded each night. And even better, right after the class. So between the class lasts to about uh, 9.30. So somewhere between 9.30 and 9.45, he will post each of the charts that he marked up. Normally, it's about 10 to 12 charts. He will post those in the Tradera community chat telegram. And so you'll have those for your use. So super excited about that. 
So that's why we do this class, just to sort of ease you into that transition of learning from the master traders. So with that, um, getting started. Um, so definitely we'll review how to open a demo account, download MetaTrader 4, tell you a, a bit about the Tradera trade alert. And we've also gone over a couple of times how to open your live account when you're ready to, um, after you've practiced in your demo, you wanna open a live account and I can show you how to, to fund that as well. And so here, so everything that we cover in this class is in blue. And so the yellow uh, rectangles on the right are all the things that Tradera offers. The complete um, education in the back office it is amazing. It's so, so, so good. I can't speak enough about it. So basically, when you go into the education, most of where you're spending your, your time will be the Forex section, which is great for beginners. It's about 10 to 12 PDFs and just gives you like a high level overview of what Forex is, what some of the foreign currency pairs are. Uh, that's a great place to start. Then if you really want to learn what's um, kind of like how to do your own trade and just the the ins and outs of trading all together you want to dive into the technical analysis section that's when the owners Cody and Easton uh, they're doing all of the videos and they are just so well done um, they will teach a concept and then they dive right into the chart to show you how practical it is so you are really, and they're really teaching you how to be a professional trader with all of those classes um, in the back office. So the live classes that I just spoke about with Derek Conway, Sunday through Thursday at eight, um, there are uh, live sessions that the other master traders in Tradera do. Those are at 8 a.m. Eastern for the New York session. Then there's a 9 p.m. Eastern for the Asian session, and then at 2 a.m. Uh, Eastern for the London session. And then there are different Telegram groups that you can join that um, some of the traders are a part of. So it's a wonderful trading community. All of that that you get um, when you join Tradera. All right, so let's jump into one of Derek Conway's charts, and I'll give you just a sneak preview of what you'll see when you go to his eight o'clock class. So one second, and I will share that with you. All right. So here is the slide that we're going to go over, and I'm going to explain what you're seeing here. So first, we have the foreign currency um, pair in the background. AUD JPY. So the AUD is the three symbol, uh, three letter symbol for Australia. So that's the Australian dollar. We're pitting that against JPY, which is the three letter symbol for the Japanese yen. So the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen. Uh, you can call this odd JPY or is nicknamed with the AJ. So you take the A from the AUD and the J from JPY and you get AJ. So you'll hear it referred to um, as odd JPY or simply AJ. We are looking at the 15 minute time frame, and Derek uses TradingView. So we've taken um, a few minutes and a couple of sessions to introduce you to TradingView and we'll be doing that more as the weeks um, go on. So here is a snapshot of one of his TradingView charts. And this is AJ on the 15 minute time frame. So let me scroll over so you can see the whole thing. So to the far right, here are all of the prices. Okay. And to the left, these are, it's like a, if you zoom out, this is the view of the candles. So remember we said, um, the red candles means that price is going down and the green candles mean that price is going up. Now this is zoomed out, so you can't, uh, it's hard to tell the candles apart, but from a markup perspective, you really just need to see the direction of the charts. So as we can see, starting from this X here and going up, we're in a slight uptrend. 
So what Derek will do is draw zones. So these uh, gray lines that have a black line at the top and a blue line at the bottom, each of these lines indicate, indicates a zone or a support and or resistance. So the whole goal is to mark up this chart with all of the support and resistance lines shown on this 15 minute uh, trading view view. So I really wanna encourage you to go into your back office and watch um, under technical analysis, watch market structure as well as support and resistance because it will explain why he chose the levels that he did. He's been trading for four or five years and he's really good at it. Okay, so we can see the candles to the left and he's marked up all the support and resistance zones. So at the time, price is right here. This is the last candle that you see. So, so from here to the left is what price has done. And so his markup is actually here on the right. And it's a prediction or a plan for what price should do in the future, and which is how or what you're gonna base your trades on. So in his first example, price is at this zone. So when price is approaching a zone, that's when we pay uh, special attention to the chart because now we're close to making a decision. The whole goal um, from this trading strategy is to trade from one zone to the next. So he's making a prediction. Price is currently at this zone right here. If it comes down, one option would be for price to bounce up and continue in its upward movement. So that would be one trade idea from this yellow circle. He marks possible entry points with the yellow circle. So one option would be to trade from here down to this zone. Watch what price does. If it bounces up, you can take a trade from here up to this zone and from this circle, entry circle here up to the next zone. However, he always plans for both ways because you can't predict the market, so to speak, but you can watch what it does and listen to what it's telling you and trade appropriately. So if price gets to this zone here, instead of going up to the next level, the candles may go in a downward trend. And in that case, you would sell down to this zone. And then depending on how price acted, sell continuously down to this zone. So this is what he does for 10 to 12. And it's normally the same charts each night and what i've been doing which has been really um, successful i attend his class and or um, look at the charts when he posts them and then i pick two or three that i'm going to watch and then what i do is one second after he posts his charts then I'll um, pull it up on my laptop. I'll open up Trading View and I'll draw my zones to match his zones. Now, while I'm in class, I'm envisioning where I would mark my zones and then I note how close I am to where he places his zone. So there's so much value in the class because you're learning and practicing um, marking up the support and resistance just like the master traders. And um, the benefit is if you're brand new, you can take his markups without knowing how to do it yourself and then look at the candles to know um, which way price is going and learning how to take your entries. So that's um, what you'll see in the 8 p.m. classes that Derek Conway teaches. Um, the chat is open so you can ask your questions. And so he does a really good job of marking up the chart and answering questions all at the same time. So it's a really informative class. Um, he keeps his markups right to the 15 minute uh, in hopes that uh, we'll have quicker trades. So when you mark up the four hour and the one hour and the daily charts, those um, trades are gonna take longer to trigger and may not close in the same day.
but by taking a trade here on the 15 minute uh, candle, it can be a shorter duration. And the goal is, you know, to be able to catch uh, pips daily. So that's what I've been doing. Um, probably the last week and a half following his, his charts and, you know, we're not able to trade, you know, all the pairs at once. I find that it's kind of valuable to have um, fewer trades, but high quality trades, you know, um, maybe uh, one to three where you're really familiar with the chart and you can just pay attention and kind of follow those through. That's what, um, that's what I like to do. So out of the 10 or 12 charts that he posts, I'll take note of which ones are near um, a zone or which ones that I like to pay attention to, like AJ. Um, I like AJ because the Australian dollar would move in the Asian session based on where it is geographically. So that Asian session starts seven or eight o'clock and goes to one or two in the morning, as well as JPY. It's also a pair that moves during the Asian session. I like to trade this pair because that's the best time of, of day or night for me to trade. I don't have to worry about work or anything. A lot of times I'm not able to trade in the New York session. So finding pairs in that Asian session uh, seems to work for me. All right, so that's all I wanna speak about in terms of these charts. Um, Hopefully everyone can I ask will a question to class at eight. So yeah, you can. Hello, this is Heidi. Can I ask a question? I just wanted yes. to Hi, know Heidi. how do you yeah. figure out Hi, how are you? How are you doing? How do you figure out the I've been Good. trying to get this answer, but I haven't been able to get get it. Um the stop and the profit. How do you figure it out on your own? What if you took your own trade? Where would you look on yeah. the graph? Yeah, that's a, that's a million dollar question. Where would you be able to find it? Sure, I'll speak You were going to take your own trade and not take the... Right, right. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Are you able to hear me? Okay, great. Yeah, I'll speak to it briefly. Yes, we can hear you. That's definitely a question that you want to. Okay, that's definitely a question that you want to ask the master traders when you go to the live classes. What um, Derek will say in terms of take profit is that you're trading from zone to zone. So if you were to take an entry here, your take profit would be when you get to that next zone. Um, a lot of times he will not give instruction in terms of your stop loss because it depends on how much is in your account. It also depends on what your risk tolerance is. So uh, not all tr master traders will tell you uh, where to place your stop loss. However, if you go in the back office and review the market structure videos, Cody and Easton definitely go over where to place your stop loss when you're trading. It's one of the most okay. uh, yeah, valuable uh, set of videos that I've seen as a trader, market structure. Is that in the but unit they, section? It's under technical analysis, and it's, that's the name of it, market structure. So there are at least 10 videos that um, go over market structure. And um, they're okay. so valuable I, because... I think, I think it's one. They go over... Yeah. They go over how to tell the difference between um, a pullback and a reversal and how to place your stop loss appropriate. So can't say enough about that market structure section. All right. So for the next 10 minutes, I want to speak to our beginners. And like we do for every section uh, session, I'm going to go over starting your demo account. I'm going to meet everyone out. Um, starting your demo account connecting to MetaTrader 4, and understanding um, the trade alert. So give me one second and I will share the next slides.
Um, I have a question as well. Hello. Okay, yeah. Give me 10 minutes to review this for our um, beginners, and then we'll go into uh, question and answer for the rest of the, the class. So hold okay, on for great. 10 more minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay, so one of the first steps that you want to do is get ready to start with your demo account. So we recommend that you definitely start with a demo account because you want to practice entering trades um, in an environment that is uh, not real money. So it's a fake, you know, fake setup account, but all of the buttons and controls are exactly what you would do for a live account. So this is how you would start. So first I wanna explain that when you're ready for your live account, you're gonna go through a broker. And here, uh, Tradera does not officially um, recommend any broker over another. This list is just from um, the traders um, within Tradera. These are brokers that we've all um, used before. Um, we, you, know, you can put money in, more importantly, you can get your money out. So for, the screenshots that I show in my class, I'm using Hugo's way as an example. And so I'm showing you every screenshot that you'll need to go through these steps. So using Hugo's ways as an example, here's the URL that you would go to, hugosway.com forward slash demo dash sign dash up. Just fill out a couple of fields, use 500 for leverage, and you want to use a small um, starting balance, like $1,000. Um, they will have other options like, you know, $500,000 or $50,000. Um, but those lot sizes that you're going to use are, are not very realistic. So you want to start with something pretty small, like $1,000. When you start your live account, you know, you may want to start with $100. So as soon as you submit those fields, Hugo's Way will send you an email. You'll want to pay attention to your demo account number and your trader password because you're going to need that when you log into the trading app. And the trading app is MetaTrader 4 or MT4 for short. So here's what we recommend for beginners. Download on your phone, like pull up your email on your phone and go ahead and download MetaTrader 4 on your phone. There, you know, it's very doable to trade using MetaTrader 4 on your laptop. And uh, Marcia Payne trades um, all the time using her laptop. And we're going to get her to do a special class for those who want to trade on your laptop. Um, it's a bit more involved, uh, totally doable, but definitely um, not something I want to go over um, for this high level class. So for now, just to keep things more simple, Practice taking the trade alerts um, using MetaTrader 4 on your phone if you're able. And once you do the download, then you're done with that first step. So now you have created your demo um, through Hugo's way. And the reason that I'm uh, giving the instruction to do your demo through a broker is that it will give you practice for when you do your live account, which goes through a broker. There's a way to do a demo account just using MetaTrader 4, but this will give you some practice in terms of um, connecting with a broker. So give me a second and I'll show the next slide. So now that you have set up your demo account, next I want to show you how to connect your uh, MT4 to that demo account. So one second. Here we go. So first I'll go through the steps for the iPhone and then I'll go through the steps for the Android because they're slightly different. So on the iPhone, when you open up MetaTrader 4, there's a settings icon, looks like a wheel um, at the bottom right. You would click on that, go to new account, choose the second option that says log in to an existing account and then search for your broker so you probably won't see anything in this list so you would type in hugo's way 
and brokers typically have um, a, a typically have one for your live account and then one for your demo account. So you would select this one, Hugo's Way Dash Demo 3. Oh, and I failed to mention all of these um, videos or slides that you see are on my YouTube channel. And so you can go through those at your own pace. I may go a little quickly during the call, but just look up um, Tasha Hodes, T-A-I-S-H-A last name Hodes, H-O-D as in David, E-S as in Sam, and you can find all of these slides there um, in small two to three minute videos for you. So once you type in that broker, now you're at the login screen. So here's one way to do it. If you have your laptop open, you can pull up that email that Hugo's Way sent to you, and you're going to type in your login here using your demo account number. And for password, you'll use the trader password. You won't need the investor password. Um, make sure this save password is on, and then you won't have to um, type this in again. Other people are able to pull up the email on their phone and do like a copy paste. So whichever one um, works for you. Then click sign in at the top. Now for the Android, it's a little different. When you open up MetaTrader 4, you're going to click on the three horizontal lines in the upper left corner next to quotes. And when you do that, you'll click on Manage Accounts and then click the plus icon in the upper right. When you do that, log into an existing account, just like we did um, for the iPhone, because we've already created our Hugo's Way demo account. You're going to search for your broker, Hugo's Way Dash Demo 3. That will take you to the login page. And just like with the icon, you're going to type in your demo account number, your trader's password, um, make sure this save password button is on, and it will be much easier to connect the next time. All right, so now you've created your demo account, you've downloaded MetaTrader 4 on your phone, and now you have connected the two. So let me switch gears and talk about the trade alert, the Tradera trade alert. I'll tell you a little bit about what it is and then the last set of instructions will be how to take those trades. So I'll go um, a bit faster so we can get to your questions. So understanding the Tradera trade alert. Here on your right is an example of what the trade alert looks like when you connect to Telegram and get it. It's listed in your back office, but I find it much more convenient to join the Tradera Trade Alert Telegram and get the alerts coming in that way. So this is an example of one. So first I'll let you know what the stop loss is. So in this case, we're placing a buy trade, and this is the pair that we're interested in. So because we're placing a buy, that means we expect price to go up. So if something happens and the trade does not go our way, price is coming down, we need a way to exit the trade to limit our losses. So that's what the stop loss is. When price falls to a certain point, MetaTrader 4 will take you out of the trade. Stop loss is very important. You wanna make sure you have one set each time. Now on the other end, um, let's say we're placing a buy and price is going up, is going definitely the way we want it. Take profit means at what price am I happy with my profit and I wanna get out of the trade you know, with my profit. So it's the opposite of, of the stop loss. So Shadera will give you an option of three different take profits. And it kind of depends on your trading style. So you'll hear traders talk about um, pip and dip. That means get sort of quick profits and you're out of the trade. If that's you, then you want to take take profit one. Now, if you have a little bit more patience and you want a bigger profit, then you may wait and choose take profit two. Now, if you want maximum profits, then you'll take take profit three, but understand you may have to wait wait a while for that to get there. And that could be a little risky. Maybe price doesn't make it all the way there each time. Now, what you won't see on the trade alert, but you need it for MetaTrader 4 is your lot size. We'll explain a little bit um, more details later, but just know that the industry standard is, you know, you use 0.01 for every $100 in your account. Um, for these demos, 
demo accounts, if you have $1,000, your lot size will be 0.1. And we'll explain a little bit about your different lot size um, dictates how much you earn per pip. And so the end of each trade alert says, um, please use proper risk management. And what that means is make sure that you have a stop loss set and make sure that your lot size is appropriate for your account. And so the last set of instructions will be for actually taking the trade. And then we'll get to your questions. Okay, so just like before, I'll go through the steps for the iPhone and then the same steps for the Android. So on your iPhone, um, if the pair that you're interested in trading, if you already see it, then you can skip this whole slide. But with a demo account, they normally only show a few pairs. So you'll have to click on the blue button in the upper right, click on FX crosses. It may say FX group. It may also say 4X. 4X. It just depends on the version of your phone. And once you see the pair that you want, in this case, we're looking for CAD JPY, we would click on the green button and then done. Now CAD JPY will show at the bottom of the list. Hold it down for one to two seconds and you'll get this little menu, pop-up menu. You wanna click on trade. So here's the screen where we're gonna enter in the values from the trade alert. So here's that lot size, that middle number that won't, you won't see on the trade alert. That depends on how much you have in your account. So with these demo accounts, you would do 0.1. And if it, um, I know for the Android, it wants two digits there, so use 0 0.10. So your stop loss, you would take from the trade alert, and all you do is put your finger there, and you can edit that field. Same thing for your take profit. You're going to pick one, one of these. And then the last step is, you know, we're placing a buy trade. So once we click buy, we're in the trade. So definitely make sure you double check your lot size, stop loss and take profit, then press buy. For the Android, so if you don't see your pair listed, you're gonna click on this white plus icon. Um, you can see on this screen is FX group, and then um, just click on the pair that you want. And once you hold down that pair, so for the Android, instead of trade, it says new order. So this screen looks a little bit different. The lot size is the same as the iPhone. So you would put your finger there and edit that. Don't forget to include uh, two digits, so 0 0.10. Now the stop loss and take profit, for some reason, they don't show those field names. So you just have to know that this bottom left black number is the stop loss. The black number on the right is your take profit. And then the last step, you press buy and you are in the trade. So definitely um, practice taking the Tradera trade alerts in your demo account. And when you're ready, uh, I have a video on the YouTube channel that shows you how to um, do a live account. Now those three screenshots are for Hugo's way, but you're free to use um, any broker of your choosing. So with that, I will um, go into our question and answer period. So just unmute. Mute yourself and hopefully I can help you out. I have a question. Hi, right. yeah. With the, um, okay. The stop loss. Would you <laughs> can you you want to do a raise of hands? Okay. Or do you want to fade it out? Yeah. Yeah. Um who was the first person asking about stop loss? It was the lady. It was Khadija. Um, yeah, before I lose my thought. Now, at the bottom, okay. where you say the, uh, ahead, the stop loss is on the left, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Yes, I can. Okay. I can. At, at the bottom, yeah. where you say the stop loss um, is on the left side, mm -hmm. now we entered, mm -hmm. like, because what I did the last time, I entered what I seen on the screen, which was 76.248. Um, but I know that's probably something after the fact. Is there, how do we know what numbers to put in for the stop loss? Yeah, this is an example of what the actual trade alert looks like. So when you get one from Tradera, 
you can right away just use the number that they give you. Okay, so when I go in there on their copy and paste, I would just put the stop loss there. Yes, and then your take profit, whichever one you choose, one, two, or three, that goes on the right. Okay, got you. So whatever they have for the stop mm -hmm. loss, I'll copy that, and then I'll just decide on take one, take two, take three. Yes, I typically go for take um, profit one. one. Um, <laughs> I have I have I a lot it. of success with take profit one. Okay. Um, take profit two works well too. It, it just depends on um, there there are different types of trading styles. Some people, uh, some traders are called scalpers, meaning you're in a trade for a few minutes, you know, like an hour at most. That's a long scalp. Then there's intraday trading where you typically start a trade and end it in the same day. So it may be a few hours at most one day. Then there's swing trading. You may be in one trade days or weeks or even months. So these trades are typically intraday. Um, but if you're going for take profit three, that may well take a full day for price to reach there. I tend to want to pip and dip. So I tend to go for TP1 and then I'm, I get my pips and I'm out of the, out of the market. Okay. So then after right. I choose so, that, then you just click mm -hmm. buy. Okay. And yep. so when if you're in buy, buy, then you you're in buy. The, if you're it's a sell, you click sell. Trading. How yep. would you know if That's it's a buy thing. or if it's a sell? Because it would, this it one says, the trade team is right. placing a buy. Okay, okay. So then, yes, That's it's going to tell you buy. a buy okay. trade or a sell trade, one or the other. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Hi, good You're welcome. Hi, Tasha. Trudy. Hi, good uh -huh. Hi, Tasha. Um, quick question. For a new trader who is starting a live account with about $100, mm -hmm. what leverage would you recommend? Mm -hmm. Well, I still like 1 to 500. That's why I put that on the demo slide. 1 to 500 <coughs> if your broker allows that. Okay. Anything okay, smaller great. and, yeah. Yeah, the higher the leverage, the more trades you can take with, with the amount that you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a risk? Is there a risk if you go higher than five or five? In terms of um, th there's no need for a beginner trader to have a, over a one to five hundred leverage. Mm -hmm. It just means um the higher the leverage you can take more trades, but yeah, you want to focus on quality, not necessarily quantity. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, hi. You're welcome. Hi, good evening. Hey there. Um, hi. I just wanted to find out what exactly is a leverage. A leverage is, it represents the partnership between you and the broker. Um, the broker is putting their money behind our money as we trade. So the uh -huh. higher the leverage, the more of their money is that's partnering with our own. So the higher the amount of trades that we can take. The lower the leverage means it's more of your money and less of theirs. So if you have a $100 account, you may only be able to take two trades at a time. Versus if you okay. have a 500, one to 500 leverage, you may be able to take up to four or five trades. So okay. the leverage so just that means dictates how many trades you can take. Okay, so that means if I go in with, mm -hmm. say, fifty dollars, um, mm -hmm. I I can still have based on the leverage. I can still that I can still that determines how many trades that I have that I'm able to use to do. Yes, but just know with that fifty dollar account, you're probably only going to be able to take one to two trades at a time. So so what happens is price. A lot of times, uh, let me pull, let me share, uh, which screen do I want to show? Let's share, let's go back to this markup. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right one. 
So let's say we took a trade uh, okay. here at this mm -hmm. X and our take profit was at the next zone. So this is a pretty good trade because price kind of goes up. It goes sideways just a little bit, drops a bit and goes to our next zone, right? Mm -hmm. However, what if we entered, um, what if we entered here and we were going up to the next zone? You notice how price drops almost back down to the zone and then takes off? Yes. So when you enter here, that drop, that's known as a pullback or drawdown. So that means your account goes negative until it takes off. So okay. when you have a smaller account, you got to make sure you have enough money to handle that pullback or that drawdown. Okay. So that's the difference between this trade, which you probably weren't in much pull pullback and you went straight into profit versus this trade where you were negative, 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 and then you took off and were in profit. Okay. So did I answer your question? Yes. Yes. Okay. I you're welcome. Who's next? Hi, Tasha. You? This is Wanda from Dallas. Hey there. Hey, Wanda. Hey. Um, my question is, I like to know how can I get the notifications with the trade alerts? I've been in the back yeah. office. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There is a telegram, and it's, are you a part of the Chadera Elite Mastermind? Yes, I am. And the it's, it's probably mm -hmm. yeah, it's probably buried in there. <laughs> and what I love that Megan and, and Reagan created was the Freedom Mindset Info Telegram. That one we're not allowed to post in; only they post in, and that's the perfect place to go because you can find things a lot easier. Mm -hmm. It's f.m. Info. Right. I'm a part of all that and I'm I'm a part of the their trade alerts on the oh, uh telegram. Yeah. But my question is how can I set some kind of beeper or something oh, yeah. to go off yeah. that that's... Do you have an iPhone or, or Android? Android. Okay, so I need to make a video because now I have the screenshots of how you set up the alert. For the longest, we can only figure it out mm -hmm. with, with um, iPhones. It's a lot easier with the iPhones, mm -hmm. but it is doable with your Android. So that is my promise. I will do that um, in the next few days over the weekend at the latest, and I will post that on my YouTube channel, how to set the alert for the Telegram with the Android. And I'll do the iPhone too because Thank you, you can – you can set any kind of alert on there, and I call it my money tone. When I hear that, I know it's time to, you know, get ready to make some money. Okay, great. I yes. appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. I'll create those for you. Tasha, hey, it's greetings. How are you? Hey there. Doing well. Good. Hey, listen, this is in follow-up to uh, our conversation on Telegram yesterday. Thank you so much for your help. Um, I was able to get uh -huh. uh, everything running with uh, M or connected with MT4 and everything. Um, so now I, I stayed up mm -hmm. until like 3 o'clock this morning, and I was um, on the trade. And uh, here's what I, here's I want to pick up with you. I'm looking at, if you if you'll do this for mm -hmm. me, this will be huge. This will help everyone on the mm -hmm. phone. Could you open up tradingview.com? right quick so that we can all take a look at what I'm about to ask. And if you look at Euro uh, USD EU. Yeah, I don't know if I can pull it up right now, but go ahead. What's your question? Okay. So the question is, um, they made it look really simple when they were marking up the charts. But when I went to this chart, I could not activate any of the fun functions to do it to, to mark it up. So would you walk me through? I'm over here on my full featured chart right now. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I want to know what I need to do to activate the function so that I can begin the markup. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I let me find my um, trading view slide. One second. Okay, sure.
So what I'm trying to access is the, the triangle, um, the lines, you know, to be able to draw. There is one line that I'm able to access, but I can't get it to release. So it just drags and drags and it never releases and locks into place. Yeah, so the two that you'll probably use the most, Uh, let me make this a little bigger. So on the far left, uh -huh. this line that. tool, this line tool uh -huh. is what you can use to draw your zone. But some people like to do an actual rectangle to to yes, that's represent a zone to instead of a line. So that's two symbols down. It, this uh, looks like the edge of a paintbrush. If you click on that, uh -huh. there's a rectangle option. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I clicked on that and now I see it. It wouldn't show up last night. Okay, um, let me let me just take a minute for, I wanna make sure that this will release because, uh, let's see. See, no, it's not releasing. No, okay, there we go, it released. Yeah, because yep. the line, which is two blocks up or two mm -hmm. icons up, the trend line, that mm -hmm. would just drag on and drag on. I couldn't see how to get it to release and stop dragging. You know, it yeah, never. It's, it's kind of tricky. Normally, you can just drag it and like click again to release it. But mm -hmm. once you do that, click back mm -hmm. on this crosshair. Otherwise, you'll just keep marking lines all over your, your chart. Exactly. So after you draw that line once, yeah, click on mm -hmm. that crosshair and you'll mm -hmm. get off of the line. Okay. So now, if I'm in my back office, and mm -hmm. I'm going to the alerts, um, the alert tab, and it tells me the alert. I just need to go into that chart because I, I, I hear several different things and this is wonderful because it sounds like I have more than one way to get answers to what to, what to um, trade. I can either go to the charts mm -hmm. that got marked up, that got posted, okay, and I can, yep. you know, uh -huh. and the second way is to go to the back office and get the alerts and take those alerts and just plug them in now yeah i don't really use the back office for the trade alerts i find it easier to to get it off telegram on my phone because i normally trade on my phone but yeah okay how, definitely more than one way to skin a cat okay so though let's talk about the trade alerts from the telegram then how do i access that do you find they're pretty reliable the trade alerts uh, from Telegram. And the reason why I'm asking is because I spoke with someone who said that they got two trade alerts um, from Tradera and they lost over $200. They were wrong. The, the, alerts, the, the alerts were not correct. Yeah, there's uh, no one can trade 100% of the time correctly. Yeah, so um, okay. Tradera, I think their stats are between 60 and 70%. If that's what you see in the okay. back office, but yeah. Yeah. Doesn't in, it make the, a difference of when you go in, when you go in also at the time you go in? Oh yeah. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. But we're, we're getting Gosh, into issues right that are kind of like intermediate. <laughs> and so I want to keep this call kind of high level. Those are the questions I, that you want to get on the live call and ask the, the master traders. Yeah. Cause there, there are a whole lot of nuances in terms of entering, but yeah, we want to keep this call pretty, pretty high level. But yeah, the, you, you said, know, you said something anyone about that point. tells you point. Yeah, your lot size determines um, how much you make um, per trade. You're talking so about point one trade zero is, um, is ten, zero point one. Yeah, yeah, you can you can trade either depending on your account size. So if a trade moves 10 point, pips and you're at yeah. point oh 0.01, you will make $1. Mm -hmm. At point 0.1, you would make $10. Is in point and at oh, a 1.0 standard lot size, you okay. would make $100. Because point 0.1 yep. is a is dollar, point zero one is 10 cents. Yeah. Am I correct? Okay. Yes, yeah. per pip. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, All Tasha? right. Okay, we have about 10 minutes uh, left. Five minutes. Tasha, I, I have a quick question. This is one again. Uh, concerning the alerts when we get them, is it Eastern time or Central time when, it, when they come up? 
Oh, it's it's pretty random. They come anytime during the day. Sometimes right. they get three in a day, sometimes none at all. Right. Okay. So when I see it, when I see them, like the, the one I seen today was like three something. So was it mm-hmm. east? Would it be my, my standard time when I receive it? Or is it? Well, it depends on whatever time zone you're in. They're gonna. They're not sending it based on time zone. They're sending it based on market mm-hmm. condition. So I'm East Coast. Okay. So what? What I get at three p.m. Someone in LA is only twelve. Okay. But they're not you. sending it Thank based you. So, on any particular time zone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just depends so on where you are in the so world. So that's back to what I was saying. I I had uh, gotten interrupted by someone. I I just had one other question. Um, so one of the questions that I was asking uh, the, last night was about the uh, news because we said uh, they were telling us that one of the ways that you want to um, take a look at the market before jumping in is to look at the news. And so, of course, my question is, how do we know what to look at in order to determine what to trade? I mean, I, I went to the website that they had given and I was clues, clueless as to what to do next. Okay, <laughs> there were well, just numbers I'll, everywhere. Yeah, I'll cover that um, in our next class and make a video. Yeah. But you want to go to Forex Factory and you're going to yes. look for um, red folders. Those are the ones that you, you want to avoid pairs that have the red folders. But yeah, I'll pull that up and, and show a slide with that next time. Perfect. Thank you so much. That's all. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah. This is Shirley. Hi. How are you today? Okay, I think I hear Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Oh, great. Hi. I just have a quick question. I've been I've gone to try to um, get into Metaphor. And mm-hmm. I get as far as putting in all my information, and then when I hit the register button, it just says done, and I've never gotten any further. From the website? Uh, on my phone, you know, and th- yeah, I, I've actually downloaded MT4, mm-hmm. and put in all my information, you know, name, phone number, email, and all of that, account type, mm-hmm. and then hit the red button and then you know it's supposed to come up and give me all the rest of my information it done shows up and and nothing i've gotten haven't been able to get any further so did they send you a confirmation oh. email no okay try try it again i had that happen to a few t- team members Hugo's way was slow and they had to do it a couple of times, but from that Hugo's way.com forward slash demo dash sign dash up. Okay. When you hit submit. If you don't get an email, just do it again. Cause you can have okay. multiple demo accounts, but yeah, try, okay. try it again. I will. Okay. Then. Okay. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha, this is Donna. Question, quick question for you. I just wanted to know exactly okay. where I can go to find you again on your YouTube channel? Sure, look look me up by my name, Tasha, T-A-I-S-H-A, then Hodes, H-O-D is in David, E-S is in Sam. And I think it's pro- posted in the Freedom Mindset Info Telegram as well, a link to the YouTube channel. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. All right. All right, that's right. Was it Donna? Hold on, I think Donna had a question. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh-huh. Um, I was uh-huh. asked. I had a question, and this might have to be saved for the eight o'clock session. But when you put in the um, the uh, uh, Tradera trade alert, and if you mm-hmm. watch it like going up and down, blue, you know, it might be blue, and it'll be red, and then mm-hmm. blue, and then it's red. Yep. How do you know? Do you kind of do you kind of use your own discretion on? Do you just let it ride till it stops on its own, or do you sometimes just get out of it? When it when you when it's in yeah, the blue, it when depends. It's profit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Sometimes you know you can take your money off the table and just close the trade early when you're in blue. As they say, you 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 can't lose money if you if you're in the blue and you close out the trade. Right, because it can really because I've done that on, on your style. How do you take it out of the trade? Well, what you would do is, yeah, you would just close it. You would hold your you um, hand on that trade and the menu will come up and you can close the trade. And if you're in blue, then that money is yours. And that trade will now be in your history. 
Hi, hi, Tasha. So, yeah, um, thank you. Back to send demo. Yep. Hi. Um, can you explain to me what is copy paste profit exactly? Yeah, that's just a terminology used to say that you're looking at the Tradera trade alert and you're copying those stop loss and take profit values and you're choosing that pair and taking that trade. Another way to look at it is called mirror trading. So it just means you're taking the Tradera trade alert and entering those values on your phone. It's just the verbiage. It's just a way of, of labeling that. Make sense? Yes, yes. Dane? Okay, yeah. And, and sometimes if you're looking at Telegram on your phone, you can <clears throat> literally, you know, copy the, the values using your phone. But normally, you know, I've been trading for a while, so I just memorize the numbers. I just make sure I'm typing it in right. So I don't technically copy it, but I just type it in. So that's what they mean when they say Mercy, that. This, okay. Mercy, this is Donna Vinson. Um, I hey, have a it's question. Tasha. We, hi, Tasha. We can hey. get in touch with Marcia. How did you say I can get in touch with her? Yeah, she, her, she has a website I have, that's I also have, posted. One of mm -hmm. team members just want to know how to... She can't seem to get anything on her computer, and I just need some help with her. A absolutely. Marcia's um, website is also on that Freedom Mindset Info channel. Um, hit me up on Telegram if you can't find it, and I'll send you a link to her, her site. It's amazing. She has a lot of videos, and she wants you to watch them all. And then if you're still stuck, call her, and she... Um, she loves those one-on-ones. So we're very fortunate to have okay. Marcia. You said the Freedom mm -hmm. Mindset. Uh, well, info. Info. It's f.m.info. It's relatively new. Megan and Reagan started it a few weeks ago, and it was just a brilliant idea because there's no talking in there, so they just post. So it's, it's a lot easier to scroll in that one and find what you need. But now they have the playbook. And you say it's that, Freedom um, Mindset Info? Uh-huh. F dot M dot Info. But, yeah, but now there's the, the playbook that um, yes. Reagan and Megan have been working on. So it's probably easier to find in there as well. Okay. All right. We have Thank about you. I have a quick minutes, question so about my right. phone. Yeah. I have, I have, I have an well. iPhone yeah. as well, and I'm thinking about using that. Does it matter if you switch different uh -huh. phones, or do, do you have to start? If you start on one phone, you got to stay on that same phone. No, in terms of Does connecting to MetaTrader Four. Right. No. As far it as doesn't. trading mm -hmm. and stuff, doesn't matter. Okay. The only thing Thank I would you. recommend is that. Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. And, and likewise, you can switch between your computer and your phone as well, or different phones. Yep. Doesn't okay, matter. All right. Appreciate all you You're welcome. do. Anyone else before we go? You're welcome. Anyone else before we go? Wow, that's the first. So I hope you guys are um, ready to, Wait, to jump uh, into me, me. the 8 o'clock. Yes. Tasha, I apologize. Uh -huh. I was trying to ask the question. I was still muted. My question is concerning oh, the no, no trade alerts. Well, like I'm looking now, and somewhere in there it states that it's still in progress. And then the one below, it would tell you that whatever the results was, whether it was a, a win or a loss. The back but the one that's showing the results in progress is Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that does that still mean you could still jump on that trade because it's still in progress? If you choose to? No, I'm I'm my assumption is that it's maybe on its way from take profit two to pre take profit three. That's my um impression okay. of what in All progress right. means. That price is still moving somewhere between those take profits. Mm-hmm. 
yeah definitely okay. doesn't mean you can still okay. jump in it. those three there um parts. it's kind of advanced to okay. know if you can still get in the trade i i took a few minutes one mm -hmm. lesson and and showed how you know if, if you're like an hour late how to look at where a current price currently mm -hmm. is and see how far away make sure it hasn't reached take profit mm -hmm. one yet um, but if it's close to take profit one, you know, I would consider, you know, that trade lost. Okay. Lost so, or, you know, it's um, I had a question. I, 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 pardon I me, ma'am. I'm still Hold trying on, to get finished? this. Thank you. No, uh -huh. ma'am. I just want to ask the question all about, about how long, mm -hmm. as soon as you get the notification, will be in the, in the first 5, 10, 15 minutes or so to take that trade average i know as soon as you can yeah you you know yeah i mean you should be safe within that five ten to fifteen minute window it's hard to predict when price will take off typically there's mm -hmm. you know time to get in okay. i've seen okay. it take off 10 minutes um later but typically they, they don't take off that fast but yeah i i just try to take it um Okay. unless i'm doing some analysis if i sometimes as you can look at the chart and just tell that price is in consolidation but you know you just never know when mm -hmm. it's going to take off so it's it's best just to kind of enter as soon as you can and, and you know not worry about it okay so okay. i'm gonna look forward to receiving gonna, how to set up notification yes. thank you yes I will clue you in. You're welcome. Oh, wow. I had a We're question. A trade alert as we speak. Yes. Oh, we are? Okay. Uh -huh. um, I just wanted clarification on because I'm a new trader. I've just, I've just joined a Forex or well, Tradera, the company Tradera. Mm -hmm. And I was just, as I'm still on welcome. the, I'm on MetaTrader. Thank you. I'm on uh, the MetaTrader on my demo account because I haven't gone live because I'm not comfortable with going live yet because of the, um, I'm just still confused on certain things like, you know, our spreads and yeah. our pips and Take when, time. yeah, yeah, and basically things like that, like when, you know, even though we get trade alerts, how do we mm -hmm. track those trade alerts like when we're looking at our charts and things like that, and so for this call like do we have like calls in our back not calls but videos in our back office that can help us with that or or no oh yeah so um the forex section has a lot of pdfs and it talks about spreads and things like that and tips and then the technical well, yeah, analysis I'm a visual, section I'm a visual. those are all the mm -hmm. sorry yeah so um, you, you know, out, you, yeah outside of that then just ask questions you know in those live sessions and they'll be able to help you some people um go to babypips.com but um you may or may not need that it just depends how deep you want to go okay all right Baby everyone i will record um this call yes mm -hmm. i will record I this just call and post it, it on my youtube i'm uh huh. I just yes. have a quick question. Um, how do you change once you okay. set your your account? How do you change it to a larger account, a larger frame of being able leverage? to do more trades on your account? Yeah, you, you can. You can go. Or do you go to open it up? And, uh, check. Do with, I go on um, to? It goes away. It like, goes away. Yes, you would log in and there's a way to change change your leverage in the back office or you can just ask tech support and they can walk you through it. It's it's not hard. Their, oh, um, their tech right. support it's is in my super, back super office. friendly and available. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cuz I think I have mine too small and right. I can't get I can't take enough trades. That's why. Yeah. Yep, that'll be helpful. All right, everyone. Let's. Um, I'm going to jump on Derek's call. I will record this and get this posted on YouTube. Happy trading to everyone, and we'll talk to you on the next class. Thank you. Good night.